Hi, everybody. I'm John Graydon from the Martial Arts Teachers Association and JohnGraydon.com. Let's learn how to make a knife hand. This is the chop, the deadly chop. In Korean, they call it a sudo, S-O-O-D-O. Japanese stylists call it a shuto, S-H-U-T-O. To me, it's the knife hand. It's the chop. This is, and, and kidding aside, a good knife hand strike is extremely dangerous, so pay close attention. What I want to do with my hand is to make it very rigid and solid. This is how I do it. I'm going to take my knuckles and raise them up, bringing all my fingers together, but raising and slightly bending them. What that does is create tremendous tension in the hand. Then I'm going to take my thumb, and for most knife hands, I'm just going to tuck it to the edge. Now, when I'm doing this strike, I can strike horizontally using the edge of the hand. That's called the knife edge of the hand. Often, when I'm standing in line someplace, I'll just take my knife hand, and I'll just beat it against the wall or the rail. I'll do it with both hands. I do it all the time just to keep that alive, kind of tough, and just be aware of that striking surface. On impact, watch my wrist. As I strike the surface, I'm going to pop that knife hand into the target. Boom! And that gives it tremendous added velocity and snap. I can strike across with it. I can strike across with it. In fact, if I get some help out here real quick, Joe Brignoli is going to help me from Pro Star Mixed Martial Arts. The chop to the throat, bridge of the nose, between the legs, collarbone. I could come down really hard and try and break that collarbone. Now, when I'm doing that strike, watch it do right here. Here comes the chops coming down. Watch it the very last one. Whop! That's the snapping action that really makes it explode. So the chop can be extremely powerful. If I, I'm, I can spin him, I'm going to grab here, spin, and chop him right into the solar plexus. That is knock the wind right out of somebody very quickly. The reverse of that, if you come on this side, please show, is the ridge hand. Watch, I'm going to take my thumb now and bring it across. Now I'm striking with the inside ridge of the hand, and this is extremely powerful. This is the first technique I ever knocked somebody out cold with. It's a ridge hand. The ridge hand works good because of this. If he blocks, see, if he blocks the chop, my elbow won't go that way. So I turn the hand over, tuck the thumb across, making sure again that's up high. The elbow bends, and I can make the contact. So the ridge hand is extremely powerful regardless of the target. Again, I can spin him, bam, smash him right in the solar plexus with a really hard ridge hand. I'm John Gray with Joe Brignoli. I hope that helps. Thanks.